What's up guys, Warren Kills. Welcome back to another deck profile. So today we got updated version of Photons featuring cards from the new set, Crossed Souls. I did go to the sneak peek on Saturday and uh, got myself and my brother Kit. Uh, as far as pulling things I needed, I did not. I pulled an ulti guy Pello, uh, Alti, freaking the new Ritual Beast uh, Fusion in Ultimate Rare is what I pulled. And uh, a Zephra Field Spell Seat Rare. Um, I didn't end up pulling any uh, full armors or cyclones I needed. I did end up trading around though for two full armor dragons. So I got those. And it's all around, all around a new and improved build for the new format with all the new cards. However, did not get Galaxy Cyclone. That was a card I wanted to play at 2 in here, but with it being $40 a copy right now, it's going to have to be a little bit of a wait before I can get that, and then a plus, I want to play 3 copies of it in Infernoids, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It'll just take some time, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get into the deck profile, start with the monsters, talk about some of the changes I made, and, uh, yeah. I believe that's all I wanted to say for the intro. Alright guys, here we are with the monster lineup. It's kind of a loaded uh, with a lot of monsters. Um, I think there's like 28 or so, 30, I'm not sure you can count for yourself. I'm too lazy to. Uh, anyways, so as you can see, you may notice already some obvious changes. Um, those being... Light Ray uh, is back, and Guardian Mortar is back, and this is at 2 now, and these are in. So yeah, so let's go through it. We got 3 Galaxy Eyes uh, standard, amazing card, you want to play at 3. Uh, even if by itself, it's an amazing card on the field. 3 Galaxy Knight, uh, just amazing combo piece to, uh, you know, uh, get rid of at 2, especially when you have Galaxy Soldier and Galaxy Eyes in hand. Um, and you have the ability to search Knight and then go into that huge combo play where you can almost summon this with this on the field and special summon this and make it level 8 or make a rank 8 play if you have Expedition or whatever if you have Guardian of Order it just sets up a lot of plays so I want to play at 3 max out on those Galaxy Soldier I wanted to play 3, search that Galaxy Knight to go for that play get that extra summon and trigger my Guardian of Order 3 Galaxy Wizard, important, he's a level changer target for your Expeditions also Tributes adds any Galaxy card, searches Galaxy Cyclone, searches Galaxy Zero, searches Galaxy Eyes, Galaxy Knight, Galaxy Soldier, whatever. Amazing card must be at three. Next, we have three Black Dragon Collapser. Sets up all of your Chaos plays with the Black Dragon, or I should say Eclipse Wyvern. Or sets up your uh, Light Pulsar, your BLS plays, what have you. Um, so very important. Two Cloud Dragon, I was playing three, I think. Uh, I think. Um, what say, 3 is too cloggy, 2 is fine, especially late game, it's really what it's best. Uh, however, opening it with Galaxy Eyes is not bad, especially if you have the Expedition to go with it. Uh, 2 Thrasher sets up your Night Plays. Um, 2 Light Pulsar, very uh, viable card to be sent in the graveyard with Dark Matter, uh, as you can revive it with Light and Dark from hand. Uh, those being a Black Dragon and anything else, Clips Wyvern preferably. Another Chaos Target for the Wyvern. Uh, two Wyvern to set up your Diabolos and your Red Eyes, whatever I need it. Uh, two Light Ray Diabolos, right down here. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Uh, let me just adjust my light a bit. That might be a little better. Two Light Ray Diabolos, uh, basically, for those of you who don't know what he does, is that if you have five or more light monsters in your graveyard with different names, you can special summon from your hand at no cost. Um, basically, it's like a Judgment Dragon. And his other effect is you can banish one light monster from your graveyard, being this guy right here. Um, and then you can start look at one of your opponent's set back row, um, and then be in place on top of the bottom of the deck. So if it's a card that really won't do much to the advantage of game state, like it's some weird continuous trap or whatever, you just throw it right back on top of their deck and have them draw next turn. It's not the card they actually need. Um, so Light Ray has just been huge huge in here. It's so awesome. I took Dark Armed out for him because he just works better in here since there's only four Darks in this entire monster lineup. Uh, and you really wouldn't count Red Eyes for that. 
I would guess. At least I would say. And uh, yeah, but Light Ray Diabolus, a Dragon target, you can set it with Dark Matter if you need to, if you need that extra target. And uh, I'm playing Guardian of Order again. It's just a really awesome card. At one, I might bump it up to two again. But at one, it's really cool because you can just get that extra level eight out when you uh, don't have like the knight play you need. Especially if you have like Galax Soldier and Knight, but you don't have the Dragon, you just special this out and have the same thing. So it speeds it up a little bit. And then still playing one Red Eyes and one BLS. Uh, not too much has changed from the standard. We're still playing three Galaxy Expedition, three Trade In. I want to bump that back up to three since like it's so helpful to get the draw plays going. You have like eight targets, three Knight, three Galaxy Eyes and BLS, and Guardian Order. So I think that's enough to play three. Um, Two Galaxy Zero, awesome late game revival card for 107s, and it gets your dead hands live, especially like if you have something in grave and you got that Galaxy Expedition, obviously you revive out Galaxy Eyes or Galaxy Knight or whatever, and then just expedite it. And then over here, or these down here, we have the four, like, well, I should say these three stables Soul Charge, Book, and Regeki, and then I'm playing one Photon Stream. It's a really powerful card, uh, very situational though. Which is why I played at one. This video on a bench trap lineup. Uh, very, very small trap lineup. Because I feel like this deck uh, wants to be as fast as it can be, and traps kind of slow it down. So I'm playing two transmigration and one emptiness. I felt those would be the best. Transmigration is just a Satellar Nova Alpha or Sound of Judgment for this deck. And the archetype control Galaxy Eyes Monster and negate the activation of your opponent's spell trap card and monster effect before this card in this chain. And if you do, shuffle the negated cards on the field in the deck. And if you control a face up 107 uh, Tachyon Dragon, you can activate this card from your hand. So yeah, and then Banners, if you know, awesome card. So yeah, I wanted to play these three traps because I felt like they'd be the most solid. Uh, these are Cloggy at three, uh, which is why I like my two extra decks in my app. As you can see, we got two of these bad boys right here. Let me just kind of make them a little more visible. Right here, two Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. We're just bringing them up to the camera. It is finally... Yeah, there it is. It is finally here. These bad boys are like five bucks at Sneak Peek. I picked up two. Uh, I just bought one straight up for five cash, and then the other one I traded for a place out of Pendulum and Penetrable, because those are worth like two bucks a piece. So yeah. I was very glad to get those uh, because this deck needs it. And it's an amazing, amazing card for this deck. So yeah. Uh, however, nothing else has changed too much really besides the two full armors. I, I mean, I would play three. Eh, I just don't think it's necessary. Uh, if anything, I'd cut the 62 for it, I guess, or probably the Heliopolis. I don't know, it's tough, it's tough decisions. Uh, but anyways, he's played 3 Dark Matter, 2 107, 2 Full Armor, and 162 for the whole Galaxy lineup. Uh, then for the re uh, regular Rank 8s, I should say, we're playing 1 Heliopolis, 1 Falgrand, 1 Valk for the Rank 5. It does come up sometimes, because, especially because uh, <coughs> you can go Galaxy Soldier, in fact, search a Galaxy Soldier, summon another one, and there you go, instant Rank 5, and you've dumped 2 Light Monsters out of your hand. Who knows, maybe they were uh, a Light Pulsar and an Eclipse Wyvern, or two Eclipse Wyvern, so it helps. And then Volcasaurus can steal games, as we know. Uh, and then we got Castell, Arc, Chain, and Abyssal. I feel like the four best uh, Rank 4 is out right now. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the whole extra deck. But yeah, look at these guys. Look at them. Yeah, there they are. Two full armor Photon Dragons. I'm so hyped for this card. It looks gorgeous. This is super rare, too. So glad. I would like to see this come in ulti, but uh, I'll take super. Yes. Yeah, so here we are with my side deck. As you can see, I made at least one little change to it, and that's Dimension Wanderer. So obviously, from us, we got two Kaiku. Awesome side deck card right now. Uh, and then one Dimension Wanderer. For those of you who don't know what this does, it is an amazing card in this deck. Um, it's actually kind of good at going into time and it can steal games. For those who don't know what it does, I'll read the effect now. So basically, it's spellcast for level 1. When a monster is banished by the effect of Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, you can send this card from the end of the graveyard and inflict 3,000 damage to your opponent. You can only use this effect of Dimension Wanderer once per turn. That's huge. 3k damage in one little discard for using Galaxy Eyes effect. That is huge. 
And, like, I want to do experiment the deck, like, by itself with playing, like, three of these so it'll claim up a lot. And you can just keep ditching for 3k. I don't know. That's still a build I'd be very, like, willing to try. Um, and maybe one of you guys want to test it out. Just, like, mating three of these and try just to keep abusing that Galaxy Eyes effect. And then just keep discarding. And then burn for 9k and win. I don't know. Let me know if you guys try that. Let me know what you, uh, get out of it. Um, but anyways, we're playing three Shared Ride as well. Uh, three Space, three Decree, and three Breakthrough. Uh, all very powerful cards right now, so not bad. Alright guys, that has been the new and improved uh, Galaxy Photon Dark Matter deck profile. Uh, yeah, just a heads up, like, Galaxy Cyclone is a card I really want to play here. Um, hopefully I can get my hands on some of those soon, and when I do, I'll probably do an update profile, because I may or may not have changed my build by then. Uh, we'll see. Only time will tell, I guess. Yeah, that'll be the only thing I would really want to change. Just two cycle in the main and then side a third. Uh, yeah. And then decide two MST and maybe just cut an MST for one of those or whatever. Um, but, yeah, one last thing. I wanted to bring up a, something, like a new series I want to start that's Yu-Gi-Oh! related. Um, not other, like, video game stuff, but, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! related is a new series I want to start, like, called... Uh, cards I want to play and then like in a certain deck so like uh, per se this deck like I want to play a card called Dimension Wanderer in Photons and I'll go ahead and explain like why I want to play it benefits however may have some negatives um, and then I'll ask you guys opinion so if you guys want to see something like that uh, leave a like the like button if you want to see something like that leave a comment if you want to see something like that just let me know I hate asking you guys to like, uh, and you know I do it all the time, like, I don't want to like, make you guys, I don't know what I'm saying, like, it's a way of like showing like, if you guys actually want to see something like that, hit the like button, obviously it does help me out and I do appreciate that, but like, if you want to see, uh, something in this form of feedback, so like, hit the like button if you want to see something like that, um, and I'll leave a comment, something like, if you don't want to, or any suggestions for it, but anyways, I'm gonna have to wrap the video up here, uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do to show your support. <laughs> it's always appreciate you guys. Over 400 subscribers, can't believe it. It's absolutely crazy. I guess we're on our way to 500 now. And, uh, we'll get there when we get there. Thanks for watching. See you later.